Cause you know I'm all about that ass, about that ass. No, I'm telling you, you ain't need, you ain't need, got it telling no trouble. I'm all about that ass, about that ass. You ain't need, got it telling no What's going on guys? Jason here from Jason Wong Fitness. Today, I have a supplement review for you guys. Now, when it comes to supplements, there's a lot of misconception that young people have. People think that when it comes to supplements, oh, if I take this or I take that, I'm gonna ultimately get strong. I don't have to work out as hard. I just take this and I'll get strong. What they're thinking of is kind of like steroids, but that's not true, guys. Now, in this modern age, there are so many, so many type of supplements out there. But for all you beginners that are looking into getting supplements, there's only three items that I suggest you guys. Now the first item is going to be a whey protein. What whey protein is guys, it's not the supplement that's going to, oh if I drink two scoops after workout or before I work out, I'm going to get shredded. Yeah, you're going to get the effects to a certain extent, but what whey protein is, is just protein. Now an example how you should properly use whey protein is that, let's say that by the end of the night, you need 190 grams of protein. And after your dinner, you hit about 150. So you're still 40 grams of protein short. So that's when whey protein comes in handy. You just take a scoop of that and you hit your number. Now whey protein is also handy for those people that have like an eight hour work day and you don't really have time to eat that much. So that's when this comes in handy. Now the next item on my list is gonna be creatine monohydrate. Now creatine monohydrate, the one I use is by GNC. It cost me about 30 something dollars and there's 200 servings. So that's gonna last me a while. Guys, there's so many creatine monohydrates out there that just pick anyone. There are so many resources saying that creatine monohydrate is effective, so just Google it, you'll find it. There's so many articles about it. And one thing I need to get out there, if the supplement store employee tell you to pre-low creatine, I think they told me to take about five scoops a day for like a week. Don't buy into that crap, guys. Just one scoop a day, you'll get it. Don't, you'll be fine. Now the third item on my list is gonna be any BCAs. Now the one I have is by Mansports. BCAs I only recommend to the people that are like cutting and they're on a deficit to try to preserve as much muscle as possible. But if you're one of those people who like to drink Gatorade or any sports drink with high carbs and high sugars, I would recommend this instead because it does have a good flavor to it and it's gonna help you maintain muscle also, if you're one of those people that like to work out on an empty stomach, I recommend BCAs as well because you don't want to use your muscle as fuels, you want to use your fat as fuels. But if you're eating a meal before you go work out, you don't even need BCA. If you are able to just drink water and work out, that's totally fine. <laughs> For me, I like this so much that I just keep drinking it. The last item on my list is going to be any pre-workout. Now the one I have is Enlo Explode. I got it cheap because my man sports run out. This only has 200 milligrams of caffeine. So before I used to take man sport, that's twice. So 470 milligrams of caffeine and that hits you hard. Pre-workouts guys, if you never take it, don't even start because that shit gets addictive and it's expensive to keep using it. Here's the thing guys, when it comes to pre-workout, after you've been taking a while, you're like, you can't go to the gym without taking your pre-workouts like, that's my mindset that you have, like, oh, I can't get the work. I have to have my caffeine, man. I have to get it in so I can have a good workout. That's gonna be the problem, guys. Personally, I haven't taken pre-workout every day anymore. I only take it on my leg days. My push and pull, I just stopped completely using it. Um, for me, I'm personally trying to go to a point where I don't even need them. All right, guys, those are the supplements for beginners that are trying to look into pre-workout. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Comment down below what you think, and I'll see you guys next time, guys. Peace out. Let's keep going. Oh,